Welcome again to the Brand Ambassador Series, and this time, this is Cognac with Benedict Hardy. You're familiar with Hardy Cognac? Well, you'll be even more so in just a few minutes. Benedict, thank you very much for being here. <laughs> thank you, it's Fabian. It's very nice of you, but you need to tell us everything we need to know. Yes, that's, that might be a little long, but I'm going to try to be um, to the point. Um, my family has been in business in this, in this country quite a long time, strangely enough. Um, the company was founded by my uh, great-great-grandfather uh, in 1863. He was an Englishman, like the, the name indicates, but as you know, the cognac business was really put on the map because of the English, the Irish, or the Scottish people, or right. the Norse people. And I was very fortunate to be born in that family and uh, being the fifth generation today. But um, the business really um, started after the, the First World War, when my grandfather, Armand Hardy, came on a honeymoon and he took the Normandy, the famous uh, liner Normandy, and he found his first importer in 1919, which was really unheard of. So it was, of course, on a small scale because mm -hmm. his name was not Hennessy or Martel, but at the same time, he developed himself a real taste for the United States, and I guess I inherited that from him mm -hmm. because this is the, my, the country of choice that, um, that I really have great pleasure of uh, coming to and uh, spending some time and promoting the brand. Well, you're making Hardy in one way or in many different ways? Ah, well, I'm not the blender, and I wish the blender would be with me. Our, um, he's very young and very talented. Um, we, we have a very unique way of uh, starting with the eau de vies that we get when they're just distilled. We have contract with 120 wine growers that uh, exclusively deliver to us. Mm -hmm. And the first thing our blender does is really reducing the alcohol level. You know, when cognac is just distilled, it's clear as water and it's at 140 proof. So what we do is that immediately he, he distinguishes the eau de vies. He knows from the get-go which ones are going to get older and which ones are going to be sold young. But he reduces immediately to 55%, which is really unique. That right. means we we cut the, the most part of the alcohol from the beginning. Very low, yeah. Very low. Why? Because that's how we, we don't want to work on the harsh products. The company has made cognac the most feminine way imaginable for many years. I guess we all have a sweet tooth in the company, in the family. Uh, my uncle, Francis, who had been the mayor of cognac for 20 years, also was our nose, as we say, in mm -hmm. perfume. But he was our blender for something like 40 years. So not only was he involved in politics, but he never left. Uh, really the company and he's 88 years old today and he comes and enjoys tasting and uh, really um, makes the blends with uh, some of our best blenders. So there is a continuity? There is a continuity. Uh, my sister and I are the two members left in the family. Um, it's only maybe a, a reason why people say it's the most feminine cognac in the business. I don't. You're saying uh, if you have to describe the Hardy cognac in general, is it robust or is it elegant? Is it very refined? Is it supple? Is it round? It is very supple, very round, and on the soft side, really. We, we don't over-oak our product. We're very sense that um, uh, we buy um, approximately 20% new oak every year, but it's not something that I think it's it's a mistake when it's super dark, super oaky. You know, that's not the style we like. We like something that is very flowery. We don't. We are very careful with our distillation and the product we buy already distilled, and uh, it's something that we have been attached to for many many years. And we want to remain and soft, easy, round, mm -hmm. not robust. That's not at all the, okay. what I all would right. say. We are exactly the reverse of robust. Here we have a VSOP, we have a Napoleon, we have an XO, and we have the Nosdor. Yes. Uh, were you <laughs> you're excited about the, about the Nosdor. But truth be told, um, when we introduce our customers to the VSOP level, they're very happy with the, with the Hardy VSOP. I, you know, I believe that if a house of cognac, as we say, les maisons de cognac, make a good VSOP, it can only become better when you raise the quality and the age. Uh, VSOP is really the test hmm. for a company. If I you suggest we test it. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, uh, and it's, it's um, 
our VSOP is something that, you know, for a very long time, we didn't even call it VSOP. We called it five stars. Uh -huh. uh, and so it has been for many, many years, I mean, the, 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 the style that, that, that we liked. And we chose the Fin Thank Champagne you. style. Um, the Fin Champagne is something that uh, is very dear to the Hardy Company. What happened is that in, in, in the company, my uncle, for many, many years, uh, had exclusivity um, with some wine growers in the Grand Champagne region and in the Petit Champagne region, the best area known as Archiac. And we have continued the tradition and we still like uh, the VSOP uh, blend like a Fin Champagne. As you know, Fin Champagne being at least 50% Grand Champagne and 50% petit, but it could be 70% grand and still 30% petit blend, and it could be still could be called a, a, a fin champagne. So that's what it is. Well, I'm sure that your distinguished uh, uh, customers know that the champagne people in the northeast of France, with their bubbly, sparkling wine, share the same soil as these two, area, two districts of the Cognac region, and the soil was called Campania by the Romans, and the translation of Campania became Champagne. Which means, it's not something that means something fabulous at the beginning, it means very poor, very limey, very chalky soil. Mm -hmm. In fact, except vineyards, nothing grows really well. Mm -hmm. But the vineyards are so resilient that they dig, you know, very deep to get their nourishment, and they can resist. So this VSOP is very fragrant, as you mm -hmm. can see. It's extremely aromatic, yeah. Extremely aromatic. And, and you get really something that is uh, very pleasant on the nose. The alcohol is not obvious, which is strange for yeah. a cognac. And many people are thinking this product could be really an older product yeah, than VSOP. There's no, no, there's no, no uh, bite. Sting. There's no, no, yeah. no bite. Yeah. The reason being that instead of a four-year-old, we're lucky enough to have enough reserve that we can use older products in it. So basically, our VSOP is an eight-year-old product. Right. And that makes a big difference, you know. As we do with our VS, which is a three-year-old, we age longer. This is one of the traits of Hardy. Mm -hmm. We have enough reserve today that we can wait a little longer. We're mm -hmm. not pressed, nor by time. We're going to celebrate the 150th anniversary next year. And we're not pressed by, you know, the rushes of customers. The, the world is open, but we still go very slowly. Uh, and that, and well, the United States being the exception. This impact of only a little bit of new oak. Yes. Is it is it very different from the rest of the industry for cognac? No, I don't think so. I think honestly, people are everybody's working on new oak, but that implies um, there are two things that are very distinguished I mean, and different in the Hardys. That the 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 quantity of water that we use in reducing from the get go. Mm. You see, we you need to stock water. Mm. And you need a lot of room. So, I mean, whoever wants to visit Hardy will be impressed by the size of the tools that we have. We have built a brand new facility now. And this facility allows us to store and to stock water. It doesn't sound normal for people in the right, cognac right, business, right. but if you don't have the right tools, I don't believe you can do cognac, a good quality cognac, if you don't have the quantities and the variety. Is there anything special to the water itself then? The water that we, we get a very nice source for that water. It's like, a, it's a distilled, you know, it's a special right. water right. that we get from Segonzac, the heart of the Cognac region. And I think this guy is very happy with us because we, we buy very large quantities to <laughs> reduce our product. So water is very precious to the Cognac making. It is very precious. 120 20, 20, uh, uh, wine growers that wine belongs growers. to a co-op right. that have direct interest in our brand. That are that are with uh, uh, shareholders like we are in but the does company. Does it mean that they bring their? their, they, their... Br there are two two solutions. I mean, they can opt to get, to deliver the wine to us, then we distill, or they can also some of them distill and deliver us the brand new eau de vie, the brand new cognac. So when they do so, yes. Uh, do they make the eau de vie? Do they distill the eau de vie in a, in a very specific way? That would be. Very hardy like? Yes, they distill under the specifications of our blender, who is now a new, a new person. No, well, not new, he has been working with us for eight years, but he's only 35 years old and he's extremely talented. 
So he gives those specifications before to make sure he doesn't refuse, right, right. you know, the, the shipments. So he knows, he knows exactly um, what style he needs to, from, from the beginning, if he wants to age it longer until it becomes an XO or more, or if he wants to use that VS and VSOP. Mm. And he knows which producer can do that for him. So that means he must have a tremendous memory and knowledge of the region, of mm -hmm. the people that he deals with. Right, and, so. and does he have any input into saying, well, uh, your wines are showing in a certain way, you will distill on the lees, or your fermentation should be short? Absolutely, or? absolutely. He discussed that. On, on a personal basis with mm -hmm. the people he deals with. Yes. That's, yes. A, that's a lot of individual decisions. He has, he has a great responsibility, but we trust him. I mean, there is a, a, a complete understanding that he has the knowledge that I don't. Mm -hmm. he, can, he can establish, I mean, he has been really uh, focused on that quality product that we want to, to get after so many years, but it can be done on a VS as it can be done on a 50-year-old. That's the same idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, he needs... If you master the product from the beginning, I don't believe you can cook well with bad wines. You know, my husband makes a wonderful coq au vin, but mm. he doesn't use a very, yes, a very low-end, low-end wine because it's not in putting a low-end wine that you're going to get a good, a good result. And I believe in cognac it's the same. If you start with the with with something that is not perfect, you will only be disappointed because. Like bad wines, the, 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 the oak emphasize the defects mm. and not help, you know, correct or hide the right, defects. Right, right. That's exactly the reverse that happens. And sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes he would taste a barrel that he had great expectations for, mm -hmm. and he said, no, you know, this product, I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised. Either the, the wood was not what I expected. And he's, he can put that aside, you know, and, and decide it won't be sold under the name Hardy. We have done, he has done that in the past. Like, right. you know, the, the first growths that have mm -hmm. younger vines and right. use another right. label. We can do that too. So that's his, up to him. And of course, we do regular tasting with him. And whoever wants to come, I mean, it would be a, it would be a blessing to have you taste the young. Because what we do, we, we can go with the customer from the beginning. Mm. And you can see the different color, the different style after the years. And that's, mm -hmm. that's what the customers so want to see. So you encourage anybody who is into the liking of cognac to yes. come and, and pay you a visit. Absolutely. Free visit. You will be our guest. So even better. Should they go on the website first? And, and yes, they can go. Email? Yes, that would be nice. They can send us an email at uh, hardycognac.com and uh, we, have a, we will answer that. I would like to do that visit myself because for American people, my understanding and my the, my, li my liking for this market makes it easier for me to explain. So, of course, because I spend so much time here, um, it's nice that I know in advance who is coming. So if I'm not here, I can have somebody that speaks good English and can explain the, the, the company uh, history and situation. Perfect. Okay.